In this tutorial, we will continue with our example distilled water order process and show you how to go from here to here. The process begins when the customer places an order. So select Start Event, click it in the customer pool, and then from it create a task, name it Place order press return okay now from place order we need to create a task called verify customer identity so select place order and then select the icon here and then drag it over and click it in the customer service assistant because this will be done by the customer service assistant Okay, and then name it Verify Customer Identity. Press Enter to confirm. Okay, because the customer can be a new one or an old one, there are two possible flows from this point on. So let's add a gateway. So select the task here, and then select the gateway icon, drag it over and then name it customer exist question mark because it's a condition to check so press enter to confirm and then now let's add one of the flows so select the gateway and then select the icon here and then drag it over name it create customer account okay so this flow is for um, the customer who is a new one because we don't have a customer record uh, the customer service assistant needs to create a new account so um, to name the flow we type in no because this condition is uh, not satisfied If it's an old customer, the assistant puts the order aside until the following Wednesday for regular submission. So we need to add another path. So select the gateway, create an intermediate event, and then name it on next Wednesday. Press enter to confirm. Okay. And since this is a time-related event, we need to specify it. So uh, right-click on it, select Trigger, and then Timer Trigger. Okay. Now, uh, we n for this flow here, we're going to name it Yes, because the answer to this question is yes. Um, that is when the customer record is available. Now, uh, from the intermediate event here, we want to create the next task. So select this icon here, drag it over, and then enter forward order. Press enter to confirm. Okay. Now let's not forget um, the other path up here. Um, after the assistant creates a new account for the new customer, then it needs to go back to the intermediate event here and wait for the same uh, time to submit the order so let's add a connector here select the task here and click this icon here and connect here okay now, um, after um, forwarding the order, um, we need to create a task called Arrange Delivery for the Manager. So select Forward Order here, and then click it in the Manager lane, Okay, and name it Arrange Delivery. Press Enter. Now after you created this task, 
maybe you're thinking that um, actually it needs to be a sub-process because we need to define some more details for this particular part. Um, we can do that by right selecting it and then right click on it. Choose uh, convert to sub-process. Now arrange to delivery is a sub-process. Now click the plus sign here to go into a new uh, business process diagram to define it. In defining the sub-process, we will need to show the related pool and links. By showing, it means we're not creating new ones, but reusing what we already drew. So right-click on the background of the diagram, select Add Pools or Links from Parent Diagram. In the dialog box here, expand the list here and further expand here and then select manager click OK now just resize the, the pool here OK uh, notice uh, there's a dog ears here and it is an indication that this is only a reused copy from the parent diagram OK so let's um, define the subprocess in the lane here. Select Start Event and click it in the Manager lane. And then from it, create the next task. Name it Assign Workers. Press Enter. And then from here, we go to the next task. And then type in Print schedule press enter and the next task is a post schedule so type it in and then press enter okay and to complete this sub process we add in an event so select the task here and look for generic resource icon and then drag it over, select end event, end event. Okay, then we are done defining the sub process. Let's go back to the parent diagram and just click the tab here. Okay. So if we look at the sub process here, if we resize it, we can actually see the thumbnail inside. Uh, but um, to avoid complexity of this diagram, we recommend that uh, to hide this thumbnail here. And you can do that by clicking the minus sign here. And that would collapse it. OK, now uh, let's add the last task for this process. So select Arrange Delivery. And then select this icon here and click it in the worker lane. And because it's um, the worker's turn to deliver um, the water, so just uh, type in deliver water and then press enter. Okay. And as with the sub process, uh, we need to add an end event to complete this process. So select the task here, and then select the generic resource icon, drag it over, and then select end event, and then end event again. And then we're done with this process.